According to the late Israeli politician and dis diplomat Abba Eban, let me quote him, a consensus means that everyone uh, is ready to take on what no one individual believes. Everyone, you know, you know, is not ready to take on what one individual believes. For Nigeria's main opposition party, the PDP, a growing disquiet over a zoning agreement, uh, presidential hopefuls appear ready to drag their personal ambition and instead opt for a consensus. You know. Ahead of its May 28 presidential primaries, President of the Eighth Senate, Dr. Bukola Saraki, told journalists at Aba Abia State, ahead of the National Working Committee, that a decision on which on which zone of the country produces the candidate for next year's poll uh, will be taken. A much clearer picture will be seen next week, uh, Paul. Yes. Again, consensus. <laughs> we have, I've been watching the, the drama in, in PDP. You know, everybody wants to be president. Uh, and um, everybody who every, is entitled. Everybody who is entitled, of course. Yeah. Uh, there has been argument over zoning. It's the turn of the South. The Southeast Caucasus says it must come to us. Mm. Some other people say throw it open and all of that. But uh, consensus, well, consensus is good, but I hope it's not going to be the kind of consensus that uh, will leave some people agree. The kind of consensus that will uh, that, uh, in which something will be compelled you know to just accept the fact is that when you have that kind of consensus you might even have people working against the party i remember people work there were people in pdp there were people in jonathan's campaign that worked against him mm. you, you know so well let's see how this consensus goes let's see how it goes mm. As opposed to zoning, JD. Uh, oh, here yeah, we are talking about um, the presidential primaries. That is that contest. Now, four individuals who are interested in this is what makes it interesting. Four individuals who are interested in the presidential uh, ticket of the PDP are the ones who came together and said, "Look." Let's use consensus to resolve this matter. And they are Saraki, Tambua, um, Bala Mohammed, the governor of Bauchi State, and a new entrant into the race, into the race former MD of uh, Africa International Bank, that's uh, uh, Mohammed Hayatuddin, one of the best um, bankers to come out of northern Nigeria. So they have decided to sacrifice their own ambitions if necessary because at the end of the day it is one of them it is one of them that will emerge so when four of you come together and say look let's meet 17 uh, uh, contestants can't go into this race yeah. it will be unwieldy we will find yeah, people to manage it. the situation yeah. when four individuals come together who have interests in the contest you know that each and every one of them has inexorably made up his mind to sacrifice his ambition. Sure. Where, uh, where, whichever way the thing goes, no one knows. Mm. So it could be Balam Mohammed that will not get it. It could be Saraki that will not get it. It could be uh, Tambua that will not get it. So once you all, I have to then, once you agree the way they have agreed, you have made up your mind to sacrifice. So what they are, are trying to do that looks novel is let us see whether we can prune down this number. Yeah. They are not saying, look, one person sh should emerge. They are thinking that, okay, just the way the APC had it in 2014, mm. maybe from a long list, there can be uh, shadow elections that will help prune down the number to like five or six that will be easier for the primary organizers to manage the situation and one person eventually we imagine instead of having 17 persons as the last count there are 17, 17 before the push. june yeah. third the deadline that yeah. i next set there could even be more mm -hmm. so how do you then go into a contest 
with so many people. I, I hope the 17 includes my governor. Your governor, of course, is there. I, I have him on the list. <laughs> That's your governor, Udomi Manuel. All right, then. Uh, we'll go on a break now, but please stay. We'll be back very shortly. The subject matter is whether or not the PDP will go for the consensus as we speak. All right. Um, without any iota of doubt, anybody who is a bona fide Nigerian is entitled to challenge for the office of president of this country. Mm -hmm. The if he meets the condition the, stipulated. Yeah. Mm. So we are talking about the People's Democratic Party and this consensus uh, gambit. Well, I think it's, uh, it might make it tidier. Mm. It might make it tidier uh, so that you don't have too many people. Too many cooks uh, in the kitchen. Uh, mm. Exactly. Mm. You have the, cooks, the, the Tambua the Saraki <laughs> group looking for a yeah. consensus uh, candidate uh, uh, among them. Apparently, three persons among them will step down for, uh, will give up the ambition for that one person. There are four already. Yeah, there are four. Three, that's why I said three persons will give up for one person yeah. in, in their yeah. midst. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you still have the Southeast uh, aspirants also mm. trying to build a consensus, the Peter will be Ayim and Ko. Mm. Oh, wow, wow. You know, they, they are there. Oh, wow, wow. And the, one other person. Uh, 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 no, 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 Yes, yes. The Ebony yes. government. Uh, no, we no, don't know no. what um, your fire share and the uh, <laughs> Mamadou are doing. I am Pius. I am Pius. And then Atiku is yeah. also there. Mm. But at, at, it's not talking of consensus with anybody. But at least, like uh, BKO said, you might have five candidates that will go. And if it is still possible that mm. even at the convention, some, will, some, some will people will still, to stand exactly. Down. That's it. We, uh, exactly. I think it, it, it makes it tidier. The truth of the matter is, let let primary let the primary be a game of popularity. You know, mm. who is more popular? Of course. So, so, yes. so you, you are not thinking of a dark horse here, a relatively unknown name. No, no, no. So an I, unknown that's name. Not going to like it's not. It doesn't <laughs> happen in <laughs> politics like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> with all these people that, are, <laughs> that level, so, <laughs> is it me <laughs> or someone mm. that will be the dark horse or mm. somebody on the street? Mm. No. So it will be someone who has the pedigree. Uh, and the pocket? Um, yes, and who can really give uh, APC a, a tough uh, compete yeah, with APC? Run, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because my, 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 GD, mine is a president who will come out and take on one of Nigeria's craziest problems corruption. See, the president that I want is one that will first defeat insecurity. Okay. That is the biggest problem we have. I <laughs> said we want to kill ourselves. People are scared to move around in their country. People are getting kidnapped. People are getting killed. More than 70 people killed in the southeast in just a matter of two days. GD by so-called it, it unknown gunmen. By so-called unknown Whatever gunmen. Whatever we call them. Mm. Ah, people are being killed. Yeah, yesterday there was another footage yeah. that emerged. From the southeast. Yes, yeah. with uh, um, an NEC official yeah. being killed yeah. in cold blood mm. because they, they they were working for the people, um, helping the people to get registered for the next election. So they, the they, president they, that they, will they, address they yeah. that security, insecurity is the biggest problem we have. It's affecting the economy. Farmers can't go to their farms. It's leading to, to uh, serious inflation. So we have to defeat that before we even think of something else. Now, whether it is the PDP that will be able to give us that precedent, the answer is blowing in the wind. But what we have seen is an attempt on their part to say, look, 17 of us can't go straight into that contest. Yeah. That is a recipe for confusion. It will yeah. be difficult to manage the contest. Therefore, let us see how we can re re reduce this number. What they are trying to do is to get themselves organized. They believe that if they are properly organized, they can take on the APC and probably win the election. This is the way they are thinking, that they have to be seen to uh, be organized, united, you know, and uh, be ready to sacrifice so that they can win 
the election. And the truth is, the law also permits consensus. Yeah. What some of us do not want to see is a situation in which you force a candidate on mm. the party, a uh, candidate that is not consensus. popular, uh. in the name of consensus, force that candidate on the party, and others now begin to grumble. Be some will even shed and, tears. Yeah. As we saw, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yes, as we saw at the Eagle uh, uh, Square, some mm. burst into tears. We don't want to see that. Let, at the end of the day, the best of the best mm. emerge. Because the best of the best that will be able to rally party faithful to support uh, him and then eventually win the election. So I commend the fact that four top guns felt it was necessary to come together and talk about this consensus, knowing that eventually if it succeeds, three of them would have to withdraw from the race. Yeah. So and that is what they are thinking. So it. at the level, at the various caucus levels, if they can have something that looks like a shadow election, we've seen shadow election done in this country. You know, if we can have something like shadow election, it can help them, it can help the PDP to prune down the number to something manageable, maybe five or six or four so that the four will now go um, uh, for the election proper. It helps party cohesion and uh, consensus building in the, in well, the final well, analysis. Paul, you also know that uh, as we sit here, the DIN is getting larger, you know, in scope about the presidency going to the southeast. So consensus is perhaps, perhaps uh, one thing you want to throw into the flame. Uh, de def definitely yes, definitely yes. But I, I think um, what is uh, important, PDP has not said that it's zoning to the southeast, although it's, 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 it's actually yeah. uh, mm. sentiment is there, mm. you know, and the southeast, as I say, it's our turn, it's our turn. But beyond all, all of this, beyond all of this, I, I, I like to just say something about what BKO said on, on insecurity. It's not just the presidency going to the east, south, east, or going to the south, south, or going to mm. anywhere. It's about getting the best person mm. or providing a blueprint to solve insecurity. It's not just to start crying. You know, PDP has a great opportunity here. One thing that has continued to be the bane of APC government is insecurity. Mm. You can't say that APC government has done nothing right. Infrastructure, the APC government has tried. But insecurity has rubbished whatever achievements. Yeah. Yeah. So what we are expecting is, whether it goes to someone in Southeast, if that mm. is the, if the best candidate comes from the Southeast or Southwest or whatever, it's not even the main issue here. Mm. Let PDP tell us the blueprints they have. No, it's the candidate. And yes, they, of course, they, he has to work with the party. Yes, mm. the candidate will tell the us. Candidate yeah. will tell, yeah. Yes, yeah. the candidate yeah. of the PDP mm. will tell us. The blueprint he has, you know, I, I hope that when they go Re for presidential debate, they, they will ask security, serious, serious questions to be asked and then serious, convincing answers to be given. Yeah. Not that they just start crying, uh, no insecurity and all of that. What are you going to do differently? Mm. Are you going to do it? Because a major problem, the major function of government, the most important function of government is to ensure security of lives and property. Yeah. And if you cannot do that, any other thing you do does not matter anymore. So people uh, won't even remember those things that you exactly. do. They will remember your administration in terms of lives that were lost, the bloodletting, the, the limitless bloodletting that is going on. No matter what you do, people will remember. Exactly. If you build houses in the sky for people, if we even offer salvation for free to people, as long as people are dying the way they are dying in our country, it will signpost the administration. And that's why I've been pushing that the administration should do its best to solve this problem before it leaves power. Yeah. Otherwise, how many people, it's not as if Jonathan didn't do anything now, but people will remember his administration for Boko Haram. Exactly. And it was one of the reasons people made up their minds that change had to happen, because they felt this president, being a former uh, military officer and yeah. an infantryman for that matter, will be able to come and solve the problem. That's it. 
Julia, in fact, the, the story oozing out of Plateau State the other day is certainly will make, uh, will, will, it will be so mind bending. And, and you are wondering, we are saying democracy includes the right to live in a peaceful country, quite apart from having the right to vote mm -hmm. for a candidate of yeah. your choice. Mm -hmm.